Hello, I'm Alex Cook, and welcome to Movie Spotlight on M6, your hometown station. Today, we'll be reviewing Ferris Bueller's Day Off, an 80s classic. In the movie, Ferris Bueller, a senior in high school, wants to skip school one day with his best friend Cameron and his girlfriend Sloan. One last day of fun before they all head off to college. Ferris fakes an illness to his parents to get out of school. He also ends up convincing Cameron, who actually is sick, to go with him and take his dad's prized possession, his Ferrari, out on the town. The plan is not quite complete. Ferris needs to hatch up a plan to get Sloan out of school so she can go with them to Chicago. As he continues to scheme, the school learns of Ferris's supposed illness. Now the fun begins. Two people are skeptical, the principal, Mr. Rooney, and Ferris's sister, Jeannie. Mr. Rooney wants to catch Ferris to prove that he isn't really sick and just skipping school. For the rest of the day, the gang spends time in Chicago and narrowly avoids being caught by Mr. Rooney throughout the day. It's a classic 80s film that has some good laughs. One of the most memorable scenes of the movie is when Ferris sees a parade in progress in downtown Chicago. As only Ferris can do, he ends up jumping onto the passing float, acting as if he is part of the parade and lip syncs Twist and Shout by the Beatles. Ferris Bueller's Day Off continues to be a fan favorite to this day. Matthew Broderick, who played Ferris, went on to play Stephen Kovacs in The Cable Guy and also voiced in animated films such as The Lion King and The Lion King 2. Alan Ruck, who played Cameron, went on to star in Twister and Speed. Mia Sara, who played Sloane, has also starred in Legend and Time Cop. Jeffrey Jones, who played Mr. Rooney, was also in Devil's Advocate and Sleepy Hollow. If you're looking for a movie to watch and you want to have a good laugh, get the popcorn poppin' because this is the movie for you. Yeah,